Ethereum upgrade, which will reduce Ethereum supply, moves into final stages. Reducing Ethereum supply should not really be the headline of this article because the whole point of this upgrade was to improve scalability and reduce the gas fees, right? So once the upgrade has successfully been activated on these networks, the block will be set for the Ethereum mainnet. It's going to be on the testnet very soon, and this should be happening in July. The most controversial change is the EIP-1559, which I have done many coverage about. Originally floated by Ethereum creator Vitalik computer and there he is right there which alters how network fees work and how miners the people running this software that process all the transactions and mints new ethereum get compensated so these are your miners there currently and what's actually happening is that they're going to burn a part of the gas fees and so ensure the ethereum miners are not really particularly happy but let's get into some of the details of it currently every time someone makes a transaction or interacts with a smart contract on ethereum they must decide on a fee which is like a guessing game to push through a transaction quickly you can set a high gas fee by but ensuring miners will include it in a block. If you lowball, intentionally or not, your transaction will likely wait until miners are less busy processing higher paying transactions first. And speed is important in several instances, including when trading upon Ethereum-based decentralized exchanges such as Uniswap, where token prices can swing quite rapidly. Traders lose money if they wait because you know there's a lot of new coins that are being launched on Uniswap, which new coins are obviously quite volatile. So to tackle this issue, EIP-1559 will double the capacity of the blocks, which is nice. This implies that most of the time blocks will have an extra 100% of their capacity that they can fill with the transactions. So as long as a transaction is sent with a fee higher than the base fee, it includes a tip for the miners. There was gonna be a tipping function in there and that's how they're gonna put that into scheme. The added transparency is built as an improvement to the user experience. Some miners, however, claim that it's deleterious. Deleterious? How's that for the word of the day? To their experience. EIP-1559, that base fee is burned, meaning that that's taken out of circulation instead of going to the miners. That's exactly what's happening. The idea is to turn Ethereum, which doesn't have a supply limit like Bitcoin, into a deflationary asset or at least create some deflationary pressure. People do believe that this is going to increase the price of Ethereum, but this will just be a small impact of it. In fact, I think the scalability of Ethereum is probably going to make Ethereum more desirable, make experiences like Uniswap a lot better so that there'll be more uptake onto the actual platform, which I would love to see because I'm about to show you how much it costs to actually do a transaction on the Ethereum network and it's not fun. Less Ethereum in circulation should theoretically be good for miners because it can increase demand and the exchange price for Ethereum, which miners will still get as a reward every time they create a new block. So we actually don't know what the actual end manifestation of this upgrade is going to look like, but Sparkpool, the big mining pool in ethereum isn't particularly happy about this and he's against the change in february it wrote eip1559 burning transaction fees is wealth redistribution from miner to holder that's why so many people support it but it's a tyranny of the majority in the name of better ux in fact not it's robbery from the miners of course that's a very very natural response that we expect from them i'm going to include the link to this article it explains what eip1559 is and why our market so excited about it i might make a video entirely dedicated to this later on but you know adding further to the news on ethereum uniswap recently become the first dex to pass 0.3 trillion in trading that's a fancy way of saying 300 billion but still extremely impressive a year ago it was 0.001 trillion a year before that was 0.0001 trillion so within a year it basically tenfolded it's absolutely crazy how far DeFi has come but most exciting times are still ahead uniswap right now is the number one ranked dex second being sushi swap and it's actually done really really well within two weeks of launching v3 on uniswap mainnet it's just been absolutely bunta it became the first and the most trading volume dex within a couple weeks time so uniswap which obviously is built on the ethereum network is fantastic news not only for uniswap but also for ethereum further to mention polygon obviously is also is side chaining onto the ethereum network it's an l2 solution has more than three times as many active wallets address as ethereum as of june 13 so the uptake on polygon because of its improved gas fees meaning it's got cheaper gas fees and a higher transaction per second, people have jumped onto the Polygon network. A lot of the DEXs that are coming out of Polygon network are also offering some pretty crazy liquidity pool staking rewards. So a lot of people have jumped into it recently. I cover sure as hell a lot of DEXs that actually provide a lot of high yield farming options. This week's Chinese Digest explains why bigger institutional investors are migrating, probably because they can have access to those cryptocurrencies, but at a much, much 
cheap array, but this EIP1559 is definitely highly anticipated because I've just done an example transaction here for you guys. I'm just simply converting 100 USDC to Aave and the transaction cost on that is something ridiculous like $12.85. And this does not actually guarantee a transaction. I might actually need to pay more than that so that I can get a timely transaction coming out of it. This is what we're talking about, guys. This is more than 12.8% in transaction fees, not to mention the fees associated with liquidity pool and there's a good 50 cents within that. So all these transaction fees does really add up. And when you're transferring like a hundred dollars into this and then you're sacrificing something stupid like 12.8, almost 13% on your transaction, then it does make your investments a lot more difficult. So it does make a lot of that everyday average Joe transactions a lot harder to do. So really anticipating to see what EIP1559 will bring to the network. And no, that does not mean that would render Polygon useless because there are still a lot of fantastic products and dApps coming onto the Polygon network, not to mention Polygon will probably become even more efficient because of this upgrade as well. So thank you so much for tuning in today. We also got 25th of June to look forward to as well. Today is the 19th of June. We've already seen the price of Ethereum come to that level that we expect it to be, where the very center of the tug of war exists for the option contracts that are expiring on the 25th of June. My prediction will be that it will probably be around at 2100 to 2200. I could be obviously wrong, but at my job, I'm a long-term holder, so I'll probably just be holding on to my positions. And if there's an opportunity there, then I might make a move in if it dips enough for a long-term gain on Ethereum, by taking advantage of the price action and volatility on the 25th of June. It is expected that in March, when the option contracts actually expired, what actually happened was that it dropped 17%, but it gained 56% within three weeks after that. So there's definitely some precedent to work off of. So let's have a look at what that means for us and look all the best for you guys and if you haven't done so make sure you go check out some of my previous videos so that you can stay updated with crypto news that comes out daily thank you so much for tuning in today make sure you go follow my social channels like subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you can stay updated with my multiple daily uploads thank you so much for tuning in peace out